Woo. Texas heat. Bob Johnson, PKW Model Works coming at you with another video. Have you ever wondered what it looks like to see a thousand models in one room at the same time? Well, you're about to find out. Here I am today at the uh, last day of the IPMS National Convention in San Marcos, Texas. I'm going to get a little some, some 360 shots inside to give you an idea of, of what this is. And uh, then I'll show you a few pictures I took of models that inspired me that I thought were really good. Of course, knowing me, they're mostly 172nd scale. But a broad range of subjects, from dinosaurs to science fiction to ships cars, just a little bit of everything, not a thousand pictures, not a long video, but nonetheless enough to give you a flavor. IPMS stands for the International Plastic Modelers Society, and it's a group of scale modelers, not limited to plastic, but, and certainly not limited by subject matter as well. Um, the National Convention this year was in San Marcos, Texas, and it was called Come and Make It, a takeoff on the original, I believe it was called the Guadalupe flag of the Texas rebellion against Mexico. That was come and take it with a star and a cannon. This is come and make it with a star and an airbrush. <laughs> Quite funny. Here's a shot of the contest room. And as you can see, it is immense. And the aisleways were unfortunately not as wide as they could be, but nonetheless, an incredible amount of models on display. And we have a lot to learn from these people about how to make great models, I can tell you that. Here's a shot with my 360 camera from just one corner of the room uh, so that you get some idea of how big this was. Now we're going to get into some of the models. Here are a couple of World War I subjects. I'm just always fascinated with how tiny these are. Really delicate, really awesome. Now we get on to the uh, single-engined aircraft of World War II, uh, a clipped wing Spitfire and U.S. markings, a really nice-looking Wildcat, an experimental aircraft. Here's a Sky Raider that shows, uh, you know, style-wise, I just think those panel lines are overdone, but that is certainly a style that a lot of people follow. I really like the panel lines a lot better on this. Uh, I believe this is a, a Dauntless. Um, another mess, a Messerschmitt, a lot of Messerschmitts. You can see there were a lot of single-engined uh, 172nd scale aircraft, including this roof float plane in a really colorful marking. Love the Saab Draken and all the Saab aircraft. Actually, they're always unusual looks. I thought this was masterfully done. MiG-21, a great aircraft. Love every model of that. It's just a really cool airframe. I should make one. Here's an awesome diorama. I believe this is in 148th scale, but look at those figures. Look at that water effect. Perfectly done. That's an Aredo float plane model, I believe. Here's a, a little anime I took for my son, but I just to show you the breadth of subject. Unfortunately, my dinosaur and car pictures did not come out clear, and so they're not here, but I did take them, and those were there were a ton of Gundam models. Here's uh, artillery. I, you know, I'm fascinated with artillery. That's a 172nd scale artillery piece. Here's a uh, watercraft I just love. Um, amphibious landing craft and that sort of thing. And so this I had to be taken. Uh, here's a Tiger One on 172nd scale, a Tiger Two. I thought this Tiger Two, the paint on here was incredible. The weathering, shading, just a beautiful little model. And here is another uh, amphibious landing craft. Uh, this is a 148th scale scratch built model of a Saturn V. Those of us who have built the Lego model thought we were doing something. <laughs> this thing was amazing, and I'm really disappointed it didn't get best in show. It's certainly what I voted for. Truly incredible. I am including this 172nd second scale vehicle just because I had no idea this existed. It's uh, obviously an uh, airfield fire apparatus, but really cool, 172nd scale. This shot shows you some of the collections. There, there is a category for collections, um, and also there's a category, that's a group build there uh, with all those models, and there's also a category for 
collections done by one person. This is really a touching, this display. This guy passed away, and like many of us, maybe all of us, he had some unfinished projects, and his friends took it upon themselves to pick up his incomplete models and finish them for him after he passed. Honestly, I teared up when I read this. Just incredible. Uh, there are also vendors in plenty, and here are a couple of pictures of using the 360 camera of both sides of one of four vendor rooms. <laughs> Just unbelievable number of vendors. One of the uh, unusual things, or I, I guess it's unusual or unique, is that there is a convention decal sheet. If you register for the con convention, you receive a decal sheet. And there's actually a category in the contest for people who use the decal sheets. Uh, and so, the, you know, what's the best use of a previous convention decal sheet? This is this year's convention decal sheet. And as usual, it has a bunch of scales. It has all kinds of subject matters. It has a car. It has a tank. It has aircraft. It has a ship. Every cat, you know, I mean, they can't do everything in every scale, but fortunately for me, a 172nd scale guy, there are uh, a couple of subjects in here, including a F-105 that I think uh, is possibly something I could model. So really uh, a cool thing about the IPMS convention every year is that they have this, uh, this special decal sheet. So... We got a lot to learn about building models from these folks, and I did learn about a special paint that I'm going to have a subsequent video about uh, that may help us do better work on our figures. Well, that's it until next time. Bob Johnson with PKNW Model Works signing off. Keep on modeling.